Hi, another video from Fast Tech. Uh, we're going to be showing you guys how to put any PlayStation 4 in safe mode. Uh, and there are several reasons why you would want to do that. Um, one of the reasons being if your console is not properly booting into the home screen um, and it just shows you a black screen with text on it or it's stuck in an update loop uh, or it's stuck on a restore screen, you can put your PlayStation 4 in uh, in safe mode and restore it uh, using the options that uh, I'm going to be showing you guys that are available on the safe mode menu. Uh, and uh, you can do this on any PlayStation 4, um, including the original PlayStation 4s, uh, the PlayStation 4 Slims, and also the PlayStation 4 Pros. And you can also do this on PS3 systems as well. So let's okay, start. Okay, so we have a PS4 500 gigabyte here. Um, but this method also works with PS4 Slims and PS4 Pros. Uh, the only difference is the uh, buttons on the PS4 Slim and PS4 Pro are located uh, at a different location. And they're also physical buttons uh, versus the touch sensors that we have on the older PlayStation 4 models, which I personally like better. Uh, but we can, uh, so we're going to start by making sure that the power cable and the HDMI cable is plugged in and you also want to have a U uh, controller plugged in uh, via USB because the controller is not going to work uh, wirelessly in safe mode. Uh, so we're going to start by making sure the console's off so there's no, uh, it's complete, we can, we can see that it's completely off and we're going to press the power button and we're going to keep holding it until the console turns on and turns back off. So we're going to keep holding the power button, it's going to beep a couple of times and then it's going to shut off. And the third beep and it should turn off now. And we're going to release the power button. Now we're going to, this time we're going to press the power button and we're going to release it on the second beep. So that was the first beep and on the second beep I'm going to release the power button like that and now it should have it should boot in uh, safe mode right there it says connect dual shock using USB cable it says safe mode in the corner top screen right there uh, and we're gonna press the PS button and there's our safe me uh, safe mode menu with all the options uh, that are here that I'm gonna go through with you guys um, the first option is restart PS4, which is pretty useless. I mean, we can always do that with the power button. Second option is to change your resolution. Uh, that's handy if you set your console to a resolution that your TV doesn't support. Like, let's just say it's put the, the PS4 is running on 1080p, and your uh, TV does, is not 1080p, um, and your TV only does 720p. So you can reset your resolution so it would optim uh, you can reset it to uh, the optimal defaults or reset it to the factory settings. Um, and we're not going to go ahead and do that right now because uh, I just want uh, to want to show you guys we're not actually resetting the resolution on this. So we're going to go back. Uh, the third option is update system software. You can update your software uh, using a USB stick or you can do it from a disk or using the internet. Um, the third option only works if it's plugged in through ethernet. Uh, you can update it through Wi-Fi using safe mode. Uh, the first option is probably the easiest to do if you're in safe mode. You can just uh, go to Sony's website and uh, download the update file and uh, put it on a USB stick and go from there. Well, I'm gonna include the link in the description for that for you guys. Um, the fourth option is to restore it to default settings. This restores your console back to factory settings, uh, like all the network settings, resolution settings, all the basic settings would be turned back to default values. Uh, so it's handy if you've messed up a setting and you want to put everything back to normal. Uh, rebuild database, this only works if you have data corruptions, uh, this basically rescans the hard drives. Uh, sorry, rescans the hard drive and rebuilds the database. It only works um, in certain uh, circumstances and it takes three to four hours, so make sure you have a lot of time when you're doing this. The sixth option is initialize PS4. This basically resets all the settings back to factory settings. This will restore your console uh, to exactly how it was 
when it left the factory, it will delete your profile, your games, save games, anything you have on the hard drive will be wiped clean. So only do this as a re uh, last re uh, resort. Uh, uh, we recommend doing this if your console is stuck in uh, restore uh, mode or if it's stuck in an update loop or if it's just not booting to the home screen, you can use this option uh, just to get your console running again. But uh, keep in mind that you will lose all your data if you do this. Same thing with the last option here, initialize PS4 with reinstall, with, uh, and uh, it also reinstalls the system software. Um, and this option also uh, will um, delete all your data. And you're gonna have to put the USB file, uh, the file on a USB stick uh, and install the system software. But again, keep in mind that you will lose all your data. Um, uh, but again, these are good options. The last two options are really good if your console's not running at all. You might want to try these two options here. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you have any questions or comments or uh, any, any other queries, you can uh, comment on the video. Uh, we try to get back to as many uh, comments as we can. We can't get to all of them, but we try. Um, and yeah. Um, Comment, like, share, subscribe. If you found this video Thank useful, uh, please like and subscribe and comment on our videos. And uh, also don't forget to share. Um, and any comments um, you, that you make, we, I try to respond to them as, as frequently as I can. I can't get to all of them, but I try to get to as many as possible. So uh, do comment if you have any questions. Uh, and uh, yeah, visit our website as well, www.fasttech.ca. Thank you.